Have you ever tried adding two buttons beside each other only to find out that it gets a little bit more difficult than you actually thought it was and you have to use columns and things of that nature? Well, in this video today, we're going to show you how to add buttons next to each other using a single element with ultimate add-ons for Elementor. Hey everyone, I'm Donald from Brainstorm Force, and I make WordPress video tutorials of our products. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So let's go ahead and dive right into Elementor. So right here we have a two button setup right here, and right now they're achieving this through columns, the columns widget over here, so they're going ahead and achieving it through there. Let's go ahead and use a single element, uh, multi buttons, to go ahead and achieve this same look, but with just a single element instead of doing column setup. So from here we have the buttons. So we have two buttons already set up right here and we can go ahead and remove or add buttons as needed. So we can add more buttons if we need to and we can remove the buttons as we, as we need to as well. So from there, let's go ahead and style these up a little bit. So if we click a button, we can go ahead and open it up and we have general and we have design. So for the general, we have the text, the links, icons and we can add uh, IDs and classes to them. So let's go ahead and uh, do different tests. Join us here. And then we have the link that we can set up here as well. For the second button, let's go ahead and change the text up as well. Learn more today. So from there, we have both of those texts set up. Let's go ahead and look at our other options. Under general and design, we have those two options. So let's click on design. And from here, we can actually set specific styles on a per button basis. Um, and I'll show you guys how to do this. And then we also have the style options, which allow us to go ahead and style these globally as well, if we want them to look the same. But let's go ahead and style these individually for now. So right now we have the text color, so we can go ahead and change the text color if we wish. Let's go ahead and pick a color here. And then we have the options to go ahead and pick background colors, border types, things of that nature. So let's go ahead and do this and do a quick setup right here with all of our different options. So you can see that we have all of these different options for border types, colors, border radius. If we want that to be a certain border radius, let me steal the color from here. Just so we have a more uniform experience. So let's go ahead and change these up. So we have that here and then we have the options for hover. So we can do text color, background colors and things like that. So if we wanted it to be more of an invert on hover, we can do that as well. And then we have options for topography for the, uh, for the hover, so we can go ahead and change that as well. For the second button, we can go ahead and style this one uh, individually as well. So let's go ahead and do that. For this, we're going to go ahead and style this the opposite of the first one that we did. So let's go ahead and make those changes. So right there we have those two buttons right now and they're styled individually and yet we have the ability to style them globally as well. So we're gonna take a look at that as well. Uh, if you need a little bit of help, you can go ahead and click on this Getting Started article and it will uh, help you further your knowledge about how to style the buttons and what, what else you can do with them. So let's go ahead and we're gonna get rid of this one. And we're going to go ahead and style them globally. Just so we're going to start from scratch just so it's easier for you all. Join us here and learn more today. So we have those options. So let's go to style. So under style, we have the design options so we can make it extra small through extra large buttons if we want to. Do a medium. We have the padding options. So like I said, this is going to be all globally affected. So we can go ahead and change the padding on the buttons if we wish. We can go ahead and do that. Then we have the topography settings. So we can go ahead and change the font family, the font size, um, some animations as well as the transformation, 
decorations, things of that nature. For the alignment, we could do uh, left, center, right, or justified. So justified will make them both the same full width apart. So we have that option too. And then we have more options for, um, like I said, the hover animation here. So we can go ahead and hover over them and they'll animate a little bit. For the styling, we have the option to do text color on hover and normal, as well as background border type, things of that nature. So we can go ahead and change these up a bit. And this is globally affected. So we have those. Let's make them round again. And I'm going to make them just a little bit bigger. So we've got those. We also have the box shadow app options if we want to go ahead and change that. And then we have the spacing options. So the space between the buttons. So we can add spacing or we can go ahead and decrease the spacing if we wish. And then we also have the options to do stacking. So we can stack on mobile, we can stack on desktop and tablet. So basically whichever one you choose here, it affects that one and all of the ones below it. So if you choose desktop, they'll always be stacked. If you choose tablet, they'll be stacked for tablet view and, and less and more, like for the mobile. And then if you choose mobile view, they'll be stacked for mobile view and more. So those are all of your different options that you have when it comes to the multi buttons. It's really, it's really awesome to be able to use one element instead of having to use columns and then two button elements. I hope you guys find the video useful. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channels for more videos. And we'll see you guys next time.